in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen hinduism presents forgiveness as something a divinity or divine quality human beings are complex characters sometimes we hurt sometimes we are hurt and in both situations we cannot avoid suffering the attitude of forgiveness is the culmination of spiritual practice and inner growth by cultivating this one can cultivate also other virtues whether you forgive someone or not it depends upon the circumstances and your very essential nature in spiritual practice you learn to forgive others unconditionally irrespective of the circumstances if we look in quran we see out of 114 chapters 113 chapters deal or begin with the forgiveness and mercy of god and one chapter deals entirely with the quality of mercy and prophet muhammad would invite people to seek repentance from god and verify whether one seeks repentance at least 100 times a day and the greatest story of the bible about the forgiveness happens when jesus on the cross praying for those who persecute him and forgiving them and offering the only sacrifice for the forgiveness of all our sins the mankind we continue today the 23rd sunday's acceptance and tolerance again today in the form of forgiving people continuously and with no count given the world today if the forgiveness is followed and participated to the maximum by all humanity no matter what religion they belong to we don't need judiciary anymore and we don't need the judges and the lawyers anymore but do we have it today we don't need to worry about the borders and we don't need army and we don't need any protection because we have the tool called forgiveness and it is very clear today that the forgiveness that is promoted by all religions is not in practice for various reasons and it is to be reminded again and again to mankind and to us catholics jesus again gives us a message in particular as a mission what is the attitude and the perspective that i have towards the person who pain me who cause inconvenience to me and do i consider that the other person is taking my freedom away comfort away and how do we look at those who correct us who corner us who throttle us and who boss over us let us realize what our perspective is what our world view is we are often misled to know the distinction between the rivalry and enmity enemy might bring our own energies down and strive to ruin and bring about the hostility while the rivalry is a competitive one and who in fact brings out our capabilities and energies to the best of our abilities sports for example in which one battles with one another and they fight with each other they wrestle with each other they compete with each other to overdo the other and it is not in hostility but it is in competition and that is what we call rivalry the world in its competition for various reasons it can be on the account of economy or for their space knowledge or for their gdp or for their sustenance with artillery there is a competition between the countries and do we see the nations as enemies are we ready to give up the hostility and its perspectives towards the existing negative shades and strong realities such as belief system caste ethnic groups profession etc not every cop is bad if one does wrong so it is to every reality in the society we got to see our perspective rather than seeing the world in a negative perspective may we give up during this week the preoccupations and the prejudices we have about the society and about groups and about ethnicity color creed caste and especially about individuals that ruin our peace of mind how do we respond to those who do not agree with our way of looking at things and the way we handle and the way we observe and the way we do and the way we carry out our responsibilities if that does not go with others in the same perspective let us not conclude it as enmity or hostility instead consider it as rivalry and bring peace with a dialogue and not a debate god bless us all